We are now recording the session. I request everyone to kindly mark your attendance, please. You are now requested to mark your attendance, everyone. I request you all to mark your attendance, please. There is an intruder. Hello. मेरे नाम से खुला हुआ है, join किया हुआ है. Imposter. This is Avaimir, Hisham, Abdul Sabur, Muhammad Ahmed, Fasi, Aman, Shakar, Mohsin. Oh, there are two Fasi Rashids. Who is the second? And this is duplicate. Fasi, show me your face so that I can remove the other one. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, ji, you are going to go. Bye, bye. Okay, the second fussy has just left. I just kick the person out. And the blanket board side one. No, but I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. One hand is dirty. Chalen ji. But one is covered with dollar. Um, today's lesson is onomatopoeia. Remember, we have already um. done onomatopoeia basically onomatopoeia is uh using sound words okay i will show you a video which i have it seen myself but i'm sure you're going to like it ek minute i think suddenly everything just got hung चलो सब कुछ है स्टक ओ हेलो भाई ये स्टक ओके माय मीटिंग इज नॉट रिस्पोंडिंग वर्किंग हम कौन मज रहे हैं नहीं माय माय लैपटॉप सडनली गॉट हंग ओके माय इंटरनेट कनेक्शन इज अनस्टेबल that's what it says there thank you okay on a matter of time matter of time let me know if you can hear uh, it properly okay ek minute hai share sound okay one more thing i need to mute you all where do i mute you all ek minute hai achanak hi cheeze khul jati hai sari okay Onomatopoeic words. Words inspired by sound. Whistle. Woof. Whir. Clank. Boom. Bang. Splash. That's right. Today we are looking at common onomatopoeic patterns, learning a few new words, and. even how to create your own hey you yeah you here hi i'm over here you didn't even explain to them what onomatopoeic words are onomatopoeic words are words that include sounds that are similar to the words they refer to the most common being verbs referring to sounds that animals make cows moo Ducks quack and cats meow. There are some common patterns in English onomatopoeic words. Words starting with G R, for example, can mean something unpleasant, miserable, or negative. A bit like me. 
Think of words like groan. Oh. Grumble. <laughs> grunt. <clears throat> growl. <laughs> and yes, grumpy. Grrr. Anyway, leave me alone now and go bother someone else. Whoosh! Often words that begin with the letters W, H together suggest the movement of air. Whistle. Whip. Wallop. Whirl. Whack. What's that? I'm being too loud. Whoops. Maybe I should whisper. CL at the beginning of a word can suggest something sharp. Oops, sorry. Something sharp, glass-like or metallic sounding. Think about words like click, clang, Clank, clash, clink, clunk, or clip clop. Hey, what's going on over there? What's all that clatter? Oh, that clatter you heard? That was just me trying to put my umbrella up in a hurry. It's starting to drizzle. Often words related to water or other liquids begin with S, P or D, R. Words like spray, splash, spit, sprinkle, drip, dribble. Words with a slightly more curious and unusual endings of cool, ghoul, or zool can mean something light and repeated. Let's look at a few examples. In Scotland, it always drizzles. My Coca-Cola fizzled. I can hear the lug fire crackle. <coughs> the wicked witch cackled. <laughs> the magic fairy dust sprinkled. When I get tickled, I always <laughs> giggle. Ash at the end of a word can suggest something fast and violent. Think of words like smash, dash, crash, bash, and although a little scary, gash. Thank you for watching. And remember, if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe Excuse below. Excuse me, sir. Weren't you saying that we were going to make our own onomatopoeic words? Yeah, you promised. Creating your own onomatopoeic words is fun and easy. You already know some combinations for the start and end of words, but what about the middle? If the vowel sound in the middle is short, an onomatopoeic word usually represents a shorter, more sudden, or sharper sound. If the vowel sound is long, however, it usually signifies a longer, slower, or deeper sound. Compare words like hip and peep, bop and boom. 
grum and groan. Now you're ready to create your own. Remember to subscribe and post your new words in the comments below. Remember? Oh, was it interesting? Not really. Not too much. Not too much? I, I found this, um, like, of course. But he says subscribe to my channel. But he says subscribe to my channel. There's, there's no need to subscribe to the channel. It was because it was a... YouTube video, obviously, you know, let up my business. Can I? But the thing is, um, of all the on, uh, videos on onomatopoeia, this was the most interesting and the most uh, informative one. Since Nijan, you're not here there. Since this was a bit of juta pen, Emiri Jan. Since this explained the beginnings, the endings, and gave you, um, you know, uh, provided you with um, idea of what particular thing. Uh, or uh, idea begins with the same set of um, word sounds. Okay? The reason why we make you do something um, like this is to incorporate onomatopoeia in your uh, writing. Okay? Um, so you need to understand how, um, you know, uh, words are uh, the word sounds are used if you remember in grade six uh when we were writing poetry remember we made you guys do all the poetry and then in groups you had to uh, you know uh, uh write a poem and use uh on onomatopoeia yes ma'am and uh, ma'am sumera ne aap ke saath kiya tha, and i did it with the other children mohsin do you remember Avaimir Mohsen, you guys were with me back then. Uh, there was this this group. I think it was Temur's group uh, who wrote a poem on food, and they made a huge donut with it. And uh, you know, um, it, it was considered by everyone. It was considered to be the best because it was, it was so colorful and it added a lot of you know food noises. Food sounds. Yadaya? Yeah, log jo hai na, cameras band karke to enjoy kar rahe hai, so rahe hai. Achha. Coming to the book, page 142. Uh, we will leave the first paragraph because that is not as important. Coming to paragraph two. In the text above, there are two examples of onomatopoeia in paragraph one. Blip, blop and clatter. Blip blop represents the sound of sauce releasing bubbles as it keeps hot in its saucepan. You would not find this word in a dictionary because the writer has made it up to represent this particular sound. Okay? Just like at the end of the video, uh, the, the instructor um, wanted you to make a few, uh, you know, um, onomatopoeic words yourselves. Similarly, Nigel. Uh, has invented this word blip blop. There, you, you will not find this word anywhere in the dictionary. Clatter, on the other hand, is a word in general use. It is a sharp, brittle sound and here represents the noise made by the brittle sticks of spaghetti as they drop on the metal stove top. Your task right now is to identify and explain the onomatopoeia in the following sentences. Which words would you not find in a dictionary? Yes, please. I'd like you to take a minute and quickly solve this exercise on the book. Page 142. Quickly solve the exercise on the book. Then I will ask your name. I'll take your name and you have to give me the answer of uh, you read the whole sentence, identify the onomatopoeia, and tell me if we can find the word in the dictionary or not. Page 142.
left. The lead only came to mark is attendance, I presume. Yes, are we ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, Hisham, first one. Sham number one. Can you read the sentence? And the anomatopoeic word is. Read the complete sentence. Whoosh and. Uh, read the complete. The sentence. firework went off with a tremendous whoosh. Hmm. Which is onomatopoeia? Whoosh. Whoosh. And can you find it in the dictionary? Yes. No. No. Yes, ma'am. No, you can't find which in the dictionary. On Google, yes, you can, but it, you won't be able to find the word in the dictionary. Okay. Uh, number two, Avaymer, since you came after so many days, it's page number one forty-two. Okay. Page 142. Acha, in the meantime, Abdus Sabur, I'd like you to do number two. Read the whole sentence and tell me if you which is the onomatopoeic word and tell me if you find this word in the uh, dictionary or not. Abdus Sabur. To respond, kya kare? Mohsin, would you like to try? Okay, fine. Yeah. Abdus Sabur, uh, can you type the answer in the chat box? Type the answer in the chat box and tell me, okay, it's cheaping. Very good. And can you find the word in the dictionary? You can find it because if you see, it says ing. Uh, if a word is taking ing or ed, it means that you can find the word in the dictionary. Next one. The children were wearing flip-flops on the beach. Avaymer. Uh, No, sentence number three. The children were wearing. In a moment. The children were wearing flip flops on the beach. Paragraph. 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 Okay. There's no paragraph. It's the exercise. 142. Page 142, sentence number three. See, it's page 142, sentence number three. I might think I have the wrong book. You don't have this one? Okay. 
Okay, Shakar. Fussy, very good. It's flip flops. And can you find the word flip flop in the dictionary? No, ma'am. Mm, you can. Yes. Because the normal slippers that you wear, which is called Urdu, mein kenchi chappal kehte hai na? ठीक है जो कैंची चप्पले होती है ना प्लास्टिक की चप्पले चाइनीज चप्पल जिसके दरमियान में वो ऐसे करके वी सा बना होता है दैट इज बेसिकली अ फ्लिप फ्लॉप ठीक है ओके द नेक्स्ट वन अमान ने आज अहमद नंबर फोर द आउल्स ट्विट टू एकोड अक्रॉस द फॉरेस्ट ट्विट टू यस वेरी गुड एंड कैन यू फाइंड द वर्ड इन द डिक्शनरी I think no. No, you can't. Uh, these are really scrunchy, crunchy. Said Rosa through a mouthful of biscuits. Mohsen. The tapuya is uh, crunchy, crunchy, and uh, we cannot find on the dictionary. Yes, you can. We can find words in the dictionary. Both the words. can be found okay. in the dictionary crunch then crunchy 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 crunch, scrunchy okay clear so words both these words crunchy and crunchy from are from the word scrunch and crunch okay so both words are found in the dictionary hence um th that that would be all now write five sentences of your own using onomatopoeia in each one include at least one which you have made up yourself in the same way as the writer made up blip blop theek hai uh that would be your home task ya fir main dekhti hu aap logon ki mere paas wo padi hui hai mam time hi khatam ho gaya hai time khatam ho gaya hai main dekhti hu ya to i will ask you guys to do the same exercise ye jo inhone bottom pe boli hui hai wo kahan gayi ye wali ओके राइट फाइव नजरिया ऑफ योर ओन यूजिंग ओनोमेटोपिया वरना मैं देखती हूं कि जो मेरे पास टीचर्स गाइड है उसके अंदर अगर कोई इंटरेस्टिंग एक्टिविटी है आप लोगों के लिए तो वी विल आई आई विल शेयर दैट ऑन गूगल क्लासरूम इन अराउंड 15 मिनट्स फ्रॉम नाउ ठीक है थैंक यू वेरी मच मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव मार्क्ड योर अटेंडेंस बिफोर यू लीव ठीक है थैंक यू सो वेरी मच Um, ये बाय कौन है मैं मैं बी बाय बाय हु सडनली चेंज्ड हिज नेम बस ये आपको बाय कह रहा है मैम ओके बाय चैट में बाय लिखते होते हैं थैंक यू